friends welcome to my workplace at ranaghat west bengal india this is a cataract with grade 3 nuclear sclerosis and the eye is deep seated let us observe this surgery this is the main incision with a 2.8 mm steel keratome on the posterior aspect of the limbus and i have included a uh, bit of conjunctiva in this in the anterior leaf of the main wound uh, this is a, a side port on the left side of the main incision about three clock hours away and in this case i have made only one side port and now capsulorexis the razor tag with the utrita forceps hold the tag guide the tag anti clockwise all around and do an optimum sized capsular axis the pupil has dilated to about 6 mm in this case and the size of this rexis is about 5.5 mm and now hydro dissection is being done some amount of visco should be expressed out and then with the help of a 27 gauge cannula PSS is injected just under the anterior capsular rim and the fluid wave is observed the nucleus is tapped and then the nucleus is mobilized and now at this moment there is fluid collection with the ocular surface because the eye is dipsetted and I have made a week to drain the fluid yes now this week cotton week will help a lot to keep the ocular surface reasonably in working condition this is a bit of adrenaline and the people has dilated little more because of adrenaline and now is the time to go into the eye with the phaco needle and the phaco needle enters into the eye with its bevel down the bevel of the phaco needle tip of the phaco needle is towards the lens mass some superficial cortical lens matter is removed the nucleus is rotated clockwise and anticlockwise now the handpiece is turned the bevel is made up towards the cornea and now is the time to chop the nucleus the tip of the phaco needle is buried into the substance of the nucleus and it goes up to the middle in this case because the nucleus is not very hard when the nucleus is of this consistency about grade 2 plus nucleus sclerosis we should not go beyond the center of the nucleus to hold the lens mass and the, now the nucleus is chopped into several fragments and each fragment is emulsified at this time the pupil is tending to become small at this time the size of the pupil is about 3.5 millimeter but we can manage this case very comfortably because the nucleus is soft if the nucleus is very hard and if the pupil size becomes smaller we should go for a pupil expansion device but in this case we don't need that see because of the weak the ocular surface is remaining almost dry and the cornea is not getting submerged by a pool of water so nucleus and epinucleus has been managed now some visco is injected into the anterior chamber since I have done only one side port I am going to use a Simco cannula 23G to remove the cortex 
through the main incision most of the cortex can be removed cortex from 2 o'clock to 9 o'clock has been removed and now the cortex from 1 o'clock also can be removed the cortex from 12.30 also can be removed now, a small bit of nucleus at around 11 o'clock is remaining just go once through the side port and remove this cortex so this has been a very satisfactory cleaning of the cortical matter the posterior capsule is clean and in this case we have selected a very good intraocular lens this is Technis 1 from Johnson & Johnson this is my favorite lens I have no financial interest but this lens is really good it doesn't turn into micro vacuoles over a period of time what I mean is there is no glistening in this lens over a period of time and now let us check if there is any cortex or anything uh, covered by the iris this is an instrument it is shaped like the letter Y and we can retract the iris very well with this instrument so we have seen all around and there is no cortex or any nuclear bit anywhere covered by the iris and now is the time to enlarge the main wound little bit because I am going to use a B cartridge a white bore cartridge white advantage of white bore cartridge is the optic of the intraocular lens is not compressed much and the quality of the lens remains intact if we compress the lens too much the compression lines may cause some damage to the optic of the intraocular lens so I go for a little enlargement of the main wound rather than compressing the intraocular lens with a very small cartridge and now is the time to remove the visco first I remove the visco with the 23G Simco irrigate BSS in the anterior chamber remove some visco and gently go behind the intraocular lens and irrigate pieces in the capsular back very gently and now again come into the anterior chamber irrigate BSS and now aspirate irrigate and aspirate the capsular bag and the anterior chamber and this is a very satisfactory cleaning of visco 2% HPMC but I am not stopping just by this cleaning I want to go now with high flow irrigation by manual irrigation aspiration after cleaning with this Simco the irrigating probe of bimanual IA should not be used initially because the antechamber is filled with visco and it will cause a lot of high pressure because most of the visco will not be able to come out with such high flow of irrigating fluid and now that is I'm using irrigation and aspiration 
the irrigating probe is has gone through the main wound and it is lifting the main wound and thus irrigation aggress aggress of the fluid becomes less if we lift the anterior leaf of the main wound this is a bit of moxifloxacin now the side port is closed by hydrating corneal stroma with VSS there is only one side port in this case I hydrated the two sides of the main wound little bit I included a, a rim of conjunctiva in the anterior leaf but still there is not much of chemosis there is little chemosis superiorly and for that we need not make punctures on the conjunctiva the antechamber is formed very nicely and now we must check all the wounds whether there is any leakage or not there is no leakage this is moxie over the ocular surface the side port is also checked there is no leakage from anywhere and now the case is concluded thank you very much for your attention so whenever there is a deep seated eye you can make a wick to drain the fluid easily and keep your working condition comfortable and when the people becomes small during surgery you have to be very careful not to catch the iris if the nucleus is soft we can manage the case without using any people expansion device as in this case be a great surgeon and serve your patients with love respect empathy and great surgical competence